I'm Jack Gerard, the President and CEO of the American Petroleum Institute. Recently, we've heard a lot about renewable energy, particularly wind and solar. It's important that we expand our wind and solar resources here in the United States to provide all the energy that we'll need. But we need to be realistic about the various forms of energy that we'll need in the United States for future development and for our energy consumption. Let me share with you a chart and a graph that was developed by the Department of Energy here in the United States. What it shows is what we currently consume around the world and what we'll need by the year 2030. What this chart shows us, which is most important, is by the year 2030 we will need 35 percent more oil in the world than we have today. We will need an additional 53 percent more natural gas. What this tells us that by 2030 oil and natural gas will continue to be the backbone of our energy resources to fuel and power our society and particularly here in the United States to give us the resources that we need to take care of business and to provide the needed jobs for our society. But realistically we have to understand the role of renewables around the world. They will grow by 66 percent by the year 2030. That will be a significant increase from where they are today. But most importantly, that will only be about 8% of the energy resource for the world. We need to be realistic in our energy conversations and discussions and understand that we're all hopeful that renewable resource and energy will continue to grow, but they will never totally replace what we have in terms of oil and natural gas. So we've got to be mindful and develop all the energy resources we need moving to the future. Some may not understand this concept, but it's the truth and it's reality.